Welcome back to the Legend of Matazuto, Fall of the Conqueror. Last time we ended with a long cutscene and a lot of exposition. And now, well, we're going to see what's going to happen when we leave the uh, Gali's home here. Sir, who are you? Go back to sleep, Toa, before I make your slumber permanent. Guys, guys, wake up! There is a minion heading inside the Nijaga nest. I bet you some evidence is there and he's trying to destroy it. Oh yeah, the uh, the evidence that they mentioned last time. Okay, we're all healed up apparently, so I guess we can just go in. Oh, there's the erase grave here, but... Alright, let's see what's in here. So the enemies have changed. Now they are Tarakava. Oh, we find an upgrade stone. It's kind of funny how the cave changes every time you go in, in it. It's also kind of cool, I have to admit. Oh, is that Luca? Luca? Nice fighting. You two are sure have improved. I need some quick cash. How about some bargaining? <laughs> some quick cash indeed. Well, we don't need to buy anything from him, but it's kind of funny how he's like, oh, I just need some cash, so I'm standing in this cave. Alright, let's see where we need to go next. I'm not really sure. This was where we went last time, so... So it's what we're gonna try first. Perhaps up here? Oh, is there a new thing over there? Pretty sure we did the puzzle before, but... Let's see what we can do with it this time. Yeah, we get another Alpha Stone. But that's not where we were supposed to go, so let's try here. Well, there's a safe spot here. So let's use that while we can. It's possible we actually need to go south from here, because the enemies here are old enemies, and I doubt they would be the same if if something had actually changed there. So we're gonna try here first. I have the feeling we're meant to go meant to go this way. Alright, let's see. Of course I'm gonna feel really foolish if this is not where we're we were supposed to go, but it looks like it because they've got some new enemies here, as you can see. We're gonna take them all right away. Gali's super powerful now. Her water her water skills have been maxed out, so. So she's quite strong and really fast because of all the speed boosts. Okay, new chest as well. I wonder who keeps coming. I wonder who keeps coming here to switch all the chests in between and <laughs> so forth. That's a mystery on its in itself. Alright, now we can see if there's a new chest over here. Yeah, there is. And it has an upgrade stone. We're gonna getting we're getting a lot of upgrade stones now. But that's a good thing because we're oh well actually we had upgrade stones. We just needed uh, weapon points I think for Gali's uh, hooks. And I think we've pretty much covered that as well. Okay. No, we're too late. Yes you are. You cannot stop us, Toa. As we stand here, another minion is destroying evidence in Takoro. Unfortunately, the guard is a little too passionate about defending what they think is their territory. Just like we're passionate about saving Mata Nui. It's over for you, Ken. Well, I guess we're gonna defeat him next. I wonder what he is. He looks... He looked almost like a Toa, but... 
judging by this battle sprite, he probably isn't one. Oh well. And we haven't really encountered him before either. There's a lot of different characters in this game. Lots of uh, diversity. That is of course really good. Although there's so many characters that it's kind of hard to remember them all, but... But I think the most important ones get enough exposure to sort of be memorable. Especially characters like Nezira is really memorable, uh, as is Nuilaka, because we've faced him quite a few times already. This guy, though, this is the first time we've even seen him. But it does sort of provide uh, insight into how just how many minions there are. There's a, there's a lot of servants of Makuta here. Anyway, that was not that was not hard at all. Oh, and we get a mask out of it. Received a blue mirror. So Gali's mirror. Well, we didn't really pick up the mask, but I'm sure we got it. Ken Mitzel said something about evidence in Takoro. I think we should go there and check things out. Takoro... Gali, are you okay? You can rest here if you'd like. No. I can't just stay out. I'll go with you. Are you sure? I made my decision. Let's hurry. So Takoro is next. And we might want to take the boat there. Oh, are we healed up, actually? No, we are not healed up, of course. So we're going to have to go to the inn. Do we have money? We don't have much money. So... I don't know if we should heal up. We didn't really... S we're not really in that bad of a condition. Besides, I want to save money for the upgrades. Because we're going to see if we can max out... Gali's hooks this time. We've got, we've got plenty of upgrade stones. It's more about the weapon points at this stage. Now let's see. No, we don't have enough weapon points. I wonder how we can... How can we check our weapon points? Well, it's a shame we can't... We can't do that. We could check the skill points, of course. I think this is where we're meant to go. But before we do let that, let's select skill points. Yeah, we can indeed upgrade the curing skill. Galley is almost maxed out. Kopaka. Yeah, he can gain a new blizzard move. Or an ice move. And as for Pohatu... Yeah, I actually want the stone skill more than... Well, we can also take that. So there is a lot of fire here. An upgrade stone, another one. But doesn't really do any good if we don't have the weapon points. Oh, is this a mask? No. It's a red mirror, so... Tahoe's mask. Okay, we've got the... Come again. Another mask. <laughs> They're just handing us the masks one by one. They're just sort of lying on the road. Okay, let's see where we should... Okay, there's a chest here. Upgrade. Is that a... Oh yeah, that's a burning Matoran. Replenish your MP to save this burning Matoran. Uh, how do we do that? Let's use a quarry tea here. By the spirit! Okay. There's an Akaku here. A black Akaku, so... Alright, let's... Let's... Heal up the MP so we can save... More Tarmatoran. Like this one. By the spirit! Yeah, they're pretty much... Yeah, they're pretty much... Burning. Yeah, the Tamatoran are pretty much burning right now. Was there only them? Oh, there, were, there weren't that many of them. 
currently, although there might be more here. Lots of enemies here that are sort of hard to see as well because and it's easy to run into them because we're speeding with the Kakama over here. No masks over there or burning Torah for that matter. Okay, there's a sign over there. Yeah, this is the exact same forest as the one where we were earlier, the Tawahi forest. Oh, there's a torrent here. I have a spirit. <laughs> uh, if there's one good thing about running into all these enemies, it's that we get lots of battle points that way. Or, I mean, weapon points. Okay, this is, yeah, this is the same sign. Like... Like I said earlier, this is the exact same forest as the one where we already were before. But now it's just on... F but yeah, now it just happens to be on fire forest. It's, it's really cool how the scenery changes. It feels very uh, real, what's happening here. Oh, and another chest. <coughs> Another upgrade stone. We've got plenty of those now. If only we had more weapon points. Okay. Is this where the coral is? Oh, there's another burning the coral here. I wonder if we actually get something from saving them. Alright. Something will probably happen here. All the toe are here. I can't... Can't walk, Gully. We need your wisdom now more than ever. How do we fight this guy? I... I was wrong. Something's wrong with me. I can't take it. What's the matter? Not expecting so much destruction. Ken Mittel must have mentioned the mission I'm carrying out here. I am Maku Toe of Ice. Tailua requested I come here to take care of some things. Tailua? Don't fret now, Gully. Tailua left already after setting the entire forest in flames. Now, this region of Tawahi shall be forever known as the Charred Forest. Ah! You monster! Come on, Fire Spear. Give me your best shot. <laughs> you cannot defeat me, Toa. You will not learn the secret. I will make sure of that. And with that, we open the third part of the story. Camaraderie. Alright, so... We're progressing really well in this game. You, Toa, are a disgrace to the universe. However, what is wrong can be righted. Join us, Toa. By, al by allying with Nakudo, your villages will not only be spared, but they will be protected. How dare you call us the disgrace? The ones you follow put the great spirit into a deep slumber. Trust the ways of the great Nakudo, and all will be well. Gali, we have to stop this madman. Gali? By the spirit, Gali, ignore the flames. Concentrate on our enemy. You're... you're right, Tahu. Oh, we can... <laughs> I can't just walk out of this. Alright, so we've got to be the ones to challenge him. You guys take the Muaka and Kanera. We'll handle Makua. And with that we get into another boss battle. I do very much like the this game's version of sort of explaining the charred forest the fact that it actually didn't start out as such when we began playing playing the game it was still a normal forest but then during the events of the game it becomes the giant forest so I do very much like that little uh, plot point kind of nice interpretation of the canon as for the enemy we're fighting We've never seen him before, and I'm pretty sure he just dies after this, so he's 
actually quite a minor character in this. But the story is shaping up to be really nice. Sort of the... I do like the growth the characters show. Especially, of course, Gali, because she's the protagonist here. And although she has the whole nightmare thing going on, she is clearly recovering from that. If it's a bit slowly at times. But yeah, then it's a very nice, very nice characterization in the story here. I think that's the best part of the game, as well as the simply the care that has been put into its creation. I've said it before, but I'm not really a big fan of the battle system in the sense that you can't really use it unless you use the automatic battle option. Like otherwise, it's really bothersome and and difficult. But other than that, I I think there's a lot of good things about this game. And we win. And another, yet another upgrade stone. Well, at least we got a lot of weapon points now. And we get the blue Pakari. We have almost all the mask now. Ugh. I am nothing. Yeah, I think she just died. <laughs> that character had no hype, set, hype at all. <laughs> You're alright, Gully. You and the others are safely away from the flames. It's... it's fire. I can't be around fire. We know, Gully. We figured it out. I'm here to help you overcome this fear. Rest now, and, where you're, and when you're ready, we will begin training. And we heal up. Oh, we there's a save point here. The only way to overcome something is to face it head on. You're supposed to be the most level-headed of the team. Your fears have changed that. I'm ready. Great. I'm using heat stones here to simulate fire. Don't let the fears overcome you. Put out these flames. Um... The stakes are pretty high right now, Toe of Water. You are aware that I am here I am here to prove myself wrong, aren't you? What is holding you back? If I knew, then I could answer. Try again. Oh dear. Not again. I'll be right back. So now on the second try it started to work, so there was just a just another uh, glitch there. I wonder if the save... I don't know, it, it was a good thing that was a save right before that. Ah! This... this is too much! Those are words of surrender. Um... Well, that escalated quickly. <laughs> Wow, that's pretty hardcore. <laughs> or is it a vision? I'm the one you're looking for. Everyone else is dead. No. What's happened? My legs are frozen in their places. Yeah, I think this is a nightmare. Luca! No one can hear me. I've failed. Uh, and just like that, we're here. I, I don't really know. I mean, it 
really look like a nightmare, but... Uh, well. I don't know how much of it was real and how much wasn't. Let's, up let's try and upgrade the weapon now. Yes, we finally... Ah, and we don't have enough weapon points. Well, we're gonna have to do that later then. Uh, we should probably not go up there. I don't know, maybe Gakoro is where we're supposed to go. No, okay. We've got the Kakam again. Rebuild your company. Um. Well. I don't know who we should take. Perhaps we'll take... Taho, because he hasn't been around much. And we can still keep Kopaka for now. And while we're doing stuff like this, we can check the... We don't have enough points for that, but... Let's see what Tahu has learned. Oh, oh yeah, it's because we haven't used him, he hasn't got any skill points. I bought Kopaka here. He could upgrade that. But I think we're gonna save for the ice skill. Yeah, sure, let's let's go. Oh, and immediately we're attacked again. <laughs> what are these things? Wait a minute. Stingers on their hands. Nuishama! Okay. I think... I think I'm... dying. Help. This is it. Gali will be dead in two days. Don't say just such things. The Nui Jag cave has collapsed. Unless you know of another source of th for the healing waters, then there's nothing we can do. We must keep hope alive, Luca. This is all my fault. The Toa cannot resist us forever. And Lewa is dead. Do you feel that, Lewa? The pain. The growing pain. It's more than just a piercing wound. It's defeat and the recapture of your... Uh, people, probably. Shall I infect him? No. The dead make use of slaves, and he will be so shortly. Welcome to our village, Rongsho. It seems you're delusional, Toe of Stone. I've controlled this village for a thousand years. I am your ruler, and I command that they get rid of everything that honors this re this wretched fool. Ah, oh, split mistakes again. We are not taking orders from you. What? You dare? Yeah. You've tried my patience, Toa. I'm pretty sure this fight is one that we are meant to lose. We could try to heal, but I, but I know that the story continues when we, yeah, when this happens to us. I don't know what would actually happen if we would win. I don't know if it's even possible to win. I, I've never won it before. Ah, it's good to be back. Well, that was brutal. You will leave my people alone. You Toa, so overconfident. I know just the way to break that. No! If K.O. was here, I'd be able to let you control this Matoran yourself, through infection of course. Who knows, maybe you'll get lucky. Oh, and Nazira is there. 
kind of a cool battle sequence. Wow, so basically... It pretty much looks like all the Toa are dead. What has happened to me? Whoa. Well, you can't blame me for thinking that all the two are dead here. That was a really dark sequence. Very dark sequence indeed. Okay, we're gonna save in a new spot over here. And we are playing as a Holly. <laughs> That's kind of random, but... I think we're supposed to try and leave the village. We could go into the village, but I know nothing's gonna happen there, so... Stop where you are. It's interrogation time. The evidence. Luca entrusted it to you because he assumed you'd be the last person we'd pick on. You're such a quiet one, but now that we know, it's time to talk. Down. Look at me, Holly. Leave her alone. She's shy. If she's shy, she's dead. Where are you hiding the evidence? It's not in your hut, but I know you know where it is. This can't be happening. Answer me, or else. Please, she doesn't know anything about this evidence. Just let us go. Please. Are you willing to beg for mercy, small one? Who dares to attack me? I do, along with the guard. Fire at a will. Kapura and I will see the ladies to safety. I don't want to go through any more of this. You don't have to. Come with me and we'll protect you from Tailua. Don't be afraid. Ah, out of my way. Ah! I've been thwarted. Impossible. Jala, you saved my life. Just doing my duty. Come on, let's get out of here. Thank you. And Jala walked into the cliffside. It's over, Luca. Yeah, your little two of friends have lost. Please don't. No problem. Wokapu shall do the honors. He's the one with the infected mask. Soon, you and Rangsho will be the best of friends again. Wakapu, everything I've done for you. How could you do this? I've used what you taught me to achieve my goals. I have to thank you for that. Otherwise, I wouldn't have the strong hold over Nezira that I do now. This is all my fault. Don't blame yourself, Luca. Matanui was doomed from the start. You just picked the wrong side. Are we supposed to walk again? I, so, I guess so. Lewa? Has Nakuda won? Will the nightmares overcome us? Yes, Gali. They will. You see, it is Tailua's confidant, the bringer of nightmares, who poisons your mind. I have given you many chances to submit to the authority of Makuda, but because you have refused, your punishments shall be death. I will not give up my life. Of course not, Toa of Water. I shall take it from you. I must say, though, you have been a very useful tool. It was through you and your fear that Gakoro was destroyed. It was through you and your fear that the Great Mind collapsed, and it was through you and your fear that led to the deaths of innocent Tamatora. Then it's up to me to make what's wrong right again. We did it. Yes, Father Makuda, it seems all of our hard work has paid off. The Toa Mata have finally been defeated. We still face a problem with the evidence, though. Yes, it seems your failure led to the loss of the Kanohi Miru, which has the evidence inscribed on it. Ken, you have failed us, but if you retrieve this mask, all will be forgiven. I will fight to the death to make sure the Miru is safe again. 
Uh, I think Scully will be dead in just days to Gakuro now and retrieve it. So he will go to Gakuro. Excellent idea. If I may ask, sir, who will be in charge of running Gakuro now that Luka has been defeated? Gawa is quite a valuable land to conquer. We cannot afford to have it taken from us. I have intro. Oh, who did he entrust it to? <laughs> Sorry, I accidentally skipped the text. No one will be able to take Gakuro from the minions. <laughs> <laughs> And once again, we have I've had enough. You're supposed to be the most level-headed of the team. Your fears have changed that. Level-headed. Level-headed. You shall be destroyed. I cannot be destroyed, I'm the son of Makusa. More visions. But where are they coming from? Let's get one thing straight, Nazira. You must never trust the Tuamara. They are the enemy. What are you going to believe? Yourself or them, my lady? Considering your life's at stake here, the choice should be obvious. How so? You mean you don't know? Nakuda will destroy any who betray him. Whatever the truth really is, sweetheart, you're stuck. But don't think yourself is trapped. You're safe. Safe with me. Now. We're going to come up with another plan so that we can remove the evidence completely from Matanui. I'll make sure you stay alive, Nazira. You don't need to fear. The Toa have much to fear, however. We are using fear and nightmares to stop the Toa from completing their quest. And we're getting excellent results from Gali, Tailua's client. Her fear has blinded her. No longer is she the wisest of the Toa. That... that explains it. It's Tailua. No longer does she have a cool head. She's a cowardness. A sad looking coward. And it's all thanks to Tailua and his confidence. <laughs> now, if Tailua is killed, all our work will, work will go to waste. But Tailua is such a powerful Toa, I really can't see that happening. I can't either. The Toa Mata only think they're winning now. All our work will pay off in the end when they're dead. Now come with me, la my lady. We need to get in contact with Makua and Ken Mitel so that we can destroy the rest of the enemy. The key to your failure is the destruction of Tailua. That is something that you cannot prevent. Tailua is the most powerful minion next to Warula himself. You cannot defeat him, or any of us for that matter. Watch me. Houston, we have a problem. I'm... I'm alive. I have to find Luca. I'd better try Tawahi. And we are in control again. But I think we're gonna end this episode off here. <laughs> in the same spot where we actually began it. So, began it. So, <laughs> kind of, uh, we came full circle here. But uh, yeah, it's been really interesting. Um, it's been kind of cutscene heavy. So, we haven't been able to play as much as just, you know, watch cutscenes. But the story is, I think, the story is pretty good. And it's, I feel like it's gonna get even better from here. So next time we're going to see how we can save Luca. And until then, see you guys next time. <laughs>